So guys, I'm gonna be talking about uh, this thing I found on the internet while looking around for PlayStation stuff. And th okay, this person has opened the uh, web browser. So this, what I'm talking about basically is what Sony's planning to do with uh, the PS3 store and the PS Vita store. So this, let's see, PS and forgot what it is. Um, Let's type in PSN store PS3. So they said that they're gonna be discontinuing the PS3 store, at least on the console. So in order you won't be able to purchase the the games from the console. Now you have to go to the website, the Sony web or the PlayStation website. So here, let's check out. That's what I type in PSN store PS3, and then I'm gonna go here. The first one. Just you know, just want to look it up. If there's anything related, like terms and and whatnot. Okay. Okay, there, there's PS3 stores here. Is this PS3? Okay, so I hear this. PlayStation Store on PS3, PS Vita will continue operations. Is this the blog thing? Okay, this is the old one, April 19. I forgot, there was a news. October 12, let's check this out. Station lifestyle. Hmm. I'm trying to find that news. PlayStation Store 3. it moving to website I'm trying to find that where, where did they put it see right, right here Sony confirms the new PlayStation store won't let you buy so it's overwhelming the PSN web and mobile stores this money will remove a ton of features Because I saw new news about this, so I'm just, just why I wanted to discuss about it. But right now I'm trying to find where that is. PSN terms. Let's try this one. Because it's hard to find those terms. Unless you know the, the link for it. Let's try this one, see if they have the link for it. Some some websites have the link. Shutdowns. Okay, here it is. So the the link is on it's called the support important notice. UK? Yeah, that's weird. Important notice. So what I typed in is important notice. PlayStation support notice or I guess important notice and then you just click on that link and then it'll take you to this so right here it says important notices regarding PlayStation products and services discontinued PlayStation apps features and services find out which features are no longer available in your PlayStation consoles so let's click on this one that's called purchases on PS3 consoles and PS Vita systems let's enlarge that so here it is I'm gonna screen cap this so, you know, so I can show show it on my Twitter or whatever or my even my Facebook gaming <laughs> thing so this sucks I don't know I mean all right screen crap screen crap there you go. So I screen crap the th screen 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 cap the thing. So it, st it says right here, starting 27th of October 2021. That's this month. So this month it's gonna be happening. October 27th. You can no longer use a credit card 
or a credit or debit card or a payment method such as PayPal to buy digital content or add funds to your wallet when you're visiting PlayStation Store on your PS3 console or PS Vita PS Vita system. So that sucks. You can't use the console now. So where do you get where do you go? What is it actually closing now? What, what's happening? Let's continue reading. To buy digital content. So yeah, let, let's read it again. You can no longer use a credit or debit card or payment method such as PayPal to buy digital. Okay, let's keep going. To buy digital content for your PS3 console or, or PS Vita system, you must first add sufficient funds to your wallet on PlayStation Store. Wait, so to buy, you gotta add the funds into your... You gotta log in from like your browser on your computer or laptop. Log into your Sony PlayStation account, and then once you log in there, that's when you access and add funds. Because you you can add your card, debit, credit, or PayPal added on the website, and then that's when you add funds. And then does that mean you can purchase on your console? See, see, that's the conflict. Conf <laughs> the complicated part about this or do you buy it from the website and it'll be added automatically once you play it back on the console oh my god this is so confusing see this, this is why I keep say, saying Sony should just add everything in one console in the first place so this it wouldn't be such a big mess because you know I mean it's already sad enough that they're trying to close the PS3 store so that people will migrate onto the next gen which is like I mean fine you know but there's still a lot of people using the older consoles if they keep doing that it'll kill it'll keep killing the previous generations and then the next generation like I said it, it makes me sad you know that's why I still support DVDs Blu-ray and you know gaming discs and cartridges because digital media just sucks it's, n it's not preserved you know it, it, uh, at least, even if, if it's it, the disc deteriorates, eventually deteriorates, and the console degrades, at least it'll last a while. But these digital stores, they don't, they don't really last long. So let's see what else. To buy digital content for PS3 console, PS Vita systems, you must first add sufficient funds to your wallet on PlayStation Store. You can add funds by redeeming a PlayStation Store gift card. Using a okay, you can use a credit or debit card, PayPal or or PayPal, excuse me, or other available payment methods via a desktop computer, mobile device, a PS4 console or a PS5. So you can use a PS4 console, okay, to buy PS3 games. That's weird, but you can't play PS3 games on a PS4 or PS5. They should have just made the PS4 and the PS5 capable of playing PS2. PS1, PS2, and PS3 games in the first place. I mean, digital or discs. I don't know why they didn't do that in the first place. It's so dumb. <sighs> it, it, it annoys me, man. This this whole... Geez. They didn't really plan the PS3 well. That's why this is, and this is happening to that. <sighs> this whole digital thing is pissing me off, you know. It, it's, so, it's such a hassle. Oh my god. And the fact that they're killing the discs base and adding all this mess, DRMs and all that, locking this down and control, you, they have complete control over the freaking game. And some games you can't play if you don't have, on, if it can make, you know, like if you can access online internet, you can play it offline, which just sucks. That, that, bro, <sighs> makes my makes my like you know I got veins popping up in my forehead like freaking Taguro from Yu Yu Hakusho man I'm gonna freaking go 100% uh, I get so pissed off about it okay how would this affect games instead of an in-game store can I purchase DLC in an in-game store okay yeah okay here's one how would this affect games instead of an in-game store yeah if the game if the store is in the game and it says you can click on the link and it sends you to the the store so what happens can I purchase DLC in an in-game store you will still be able to purchase content including DLC via in-game stores 
but you will need to use wallet funds to pay for the content on PlayStation Store. Wallet funds. Okay, see, so is that uh, once you already added? Oh my God, what a mess! What what a freaking mess this is. You will not be able to use a credit or debit card or other payment methods such as PayPal to complete the purchase. Ah, I see. Okay, so you gotta add the funds on the website using your computer or laptop or mobile or PS4 or PS5 once you add it that's when you can purchase once it's already the funds are there you can still play the PS3 console but they should have made it cleared in the first place that way but the funds have to be there and the number like the amount of money that's in the funds so you won't be able to use PS3 consoles or PS Vita systems to purchase but you can use anything else other than those two <laughs> can I still use PlayStation Store gift cards on my PS3 consoles or PS Vita systems okay here's here's the, here's the weird one if you use PlayStation Store gift yes PlayStation Store gift cards can be used on both PS3 consoles PS Vita systems product vouchers and subscription vouchers can also be used okay there you go you can still redeem that stuff but oh my god this this is a mess I wish they just migrate everything in PS4 and PS5 in the first place I mean like I said like here's what I'm trying to get to in order for people to finally move on from the PS3 they have to migrate everything from that to the next gen you know so that it'll be available but I'm glad that they enabled the PS4 to be able to purchase PS3 games so that's cool the only sad part is you won't be able to play the games themselves on the console so you it's it's weird you gotta still have a PS3 to play it because it's not gonna work on the PS4 unless they enable it to be played digitally see that's what I mean this is what I'm trying to get to though like being able to download the PS2 or PS3 games digitally and then installing it on, installing it on your PS4 or PS5 and then playing it on those rather than PS3 but you can't <sighs> or at least it won't because because right now you gotta do it using the PlayStation Now method that's the only way you can play the older games you gotta have a subscription to PlayStation Now and that's a subscription thing you don't have the games it's still digital so that sucks <sighs> oh well alright let me know what you guys think of this so annoying. Well, still got a long, a little bit. It's only the fifteenth, so. Got twelve days, so. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my. my or upload this so people can see it. Or you re can read it for themselves. Put the link on the description for this announcement. Later.